Oregon, the Beaver State, Oregon History Troutdale. This pioneer community gateway to the Columbia Gorge was settled in the 1850s. Cattle herds of early pioneers were driven to the nearby Sandy River from the Dalles, while the immigrants, with an E, rafted their wagons down the Columbia. First known as Sandy, the present name came from fish ponds built by the town's founder, founder, that he founded, Captain John Harlow. By the turn of the century, railroad and river commerce made Troutdale a noisy boom town, boasting a tavern on each corner and one in the middle. Here in 1894, part of Coxey's army, 500 unemployed demon straighters commanded a train in an attempt to reach Washington, D.C. Okay, there's a whole lot wrong with that paragraph. But I've uh, just hit the highlights. Um, besides immigrants with an E. Um, do, 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 where are we at? Fish ponds. Um, the Columbia River, the Sandy River are right here. And according to Lewis and Clark, uh, long ago the fish were so thick and heavy you could walk across the river on their backs. So the notion that anybody would come here and need to build a fish pond is ridiculous. Uh, next one, let's see, Boomtown, um, from the founder, the founder, Captain John Harlow, he, not, the, not the architect, not the guy who designed it or laid it out, and none of the building people know, the, he found it, Captain John Harlow found a town, Ooh, look, I found a town, it's mine, and uh, commenced with the booms. Uh, because, well, people are going to move here and we can't have them knowing that there was some giant civilization that covered the entire world before we move in the orphans. We don't want them to know jack shit. And so, boom, 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 as the explosions went off, as they destroyed all the stuff that was too cool to fucking, for anybody to see. With a tavern on each corner so the people doing the demolition could get drunk every night and wouldn't remember anything either, you know. Because they knew they were destroying the old world. They knew they were destroying it so that future generations would be completely lost and not know their history and, and therefore slaves. So get drunk every night. Why not? Go do your job. Same thing to this day. Coxey's Army, the last part. 1894. I, I'm going to have to look into Coxey's Army. But 500 unemployed demonstrators? Demonstrators, really. 500 unemployed demon. <laughs> Traders. That's just ridiculous. Whoever, whoever did this sign is a freaking is a mad genius. Oh my god, the mind control being laid out right there is just layered. It's like bullshit wrapped in bullshit on a nice little little tray with some more bullshit on the side. Thanks for watching.